July 30th, the early and the latter rain. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. Joel 2, verse 23. There is to be in the churches a wonderful manifestation of the power of God, but it will not move upon those who have not humbled themselves before the Lord and opened the door of their heart by confession and repentance. In the manifestation of that power which lightens the earth with the glory of God, they will see only something which in their blindness they think dangerous, something which will arouse their fears, and they will brace themselves to resist it. Because the Lord does not work according to their expectations and ideal, they will oppose the work. Why, they say, should we not know the Spirit of God when we have been in the work so many years? Because they did not respond to the warnings, the entreaties of the messages of God, but persistently said, I am rich and increase with goods and have need of nothing. Talent, long experience, will not make men channels of light unless they place themselves under the bright beams of the sun of righteousness and are called and chosen and prepared by the endowment of the Holy Spirit. When men who handle sacred things will humble themselves under the mighty hand of God, the Lord will lift them up. He will make them men of discernment, men which in the grace of His Spirit. Their strong selfish traits of character and their stubbornness will be seen in the light shining from the light of the world. I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place. Except thou repent. If you seek the Lord with all your heart, he will be found of you. There must be no neglect of the grace represented by the former rain. Only those who are living up to the light they have will receive greater light, unless we are daily advancing in the exemplification of the active Christian virtues, we shall not receive the manifestation of the Holy Spirit in the latter rain. It may be falling on hearts all around us, but we shall not discern or receive it. Said my accompanying angel, time is almost finished. Do you reflect the lovely image of Jesus as you should? Then I was pointed to the earth and saw that there would have to be a getting ready among those who have of late embraced the third angel's message. Said the angel, Get ready, get ready, get ready. Ye will have to die a greater death to the world than ye have ever yet died. I saw that there was a great work to do for them and but little time to do it in. I saw that some of us have had time to get the truth and to advance step by step, and every step we have taken has given us strength to take the next. But now time is almost finished, and what we have been years learning, they will have to learn in a few months, and they will have to unlearn much and learn again, and those who will not receive the mark of the beast and his image when the decree goes forth must have decision now to say, Nay! We will not regard the institution of the beast. A sketch of the Christian experience and views of Ellen G. White, page 52 to 55.